If you take, you know what, if you take this cons the conspiracy theory stuff out and you just look at the facts that, you know, 40 to 60 percent of our, what we bring home, the fruits of our labor, is taken from us and given to corporations and banks well, and now, now used well, to fight 40 wars. 40 to 60 percent of our money that, that goes to taxation, which actually in the United States is more like about 33 percent. which is the lowest it actually in the industrialized world by far. Is that going directly to corporations? Some of it is. Some How of it is. How many trillions of dollars? You're talking about the TARP money and the bailouts. I, I understand frustration over that. That's not a conspiracy. That's totally justified anger. Exactly. Totally, but, but it's separate from the stuff that We Are Change is pushing. It's part of what We Are Change is I'm just pushing. saying, if you were telling me you were against the Patriot Act, you're concerned, you think the TARP and the, the stimulus was bullshit, right? Exactly. If this is what you believe, you think it's it's bullshit that Blackwater and these organizations, you know, get money you know, through military countries? We wouldn't be having this conversation. This conversation wouldn't need to happen. The problem is all this conspiracy mongering on there. It's not about meeting then halfway. Prove us wrong. Prove us wrong. How am I supposed to disprove a conspiracy that doesn't exist? H how can you prove it? How can you prove that it's a conspiracy? It's a, how it's do you a know it's not? It's a conspiracy. <laughs> That's ridiculous. How do you, you, want, know to prove, not you want to prove a negative? What about the, what about the Bilderberg Group? What about you know? See, Renee, this is this is where you and I are just simply going to have to part ways. The, exactly. If for us, this is crazy conspiracies. A lot of this stuff, if you trace it back further, far enough, if you took your time, you'd find out it's rooted in anti-Semitism. That's how these groups like the Bilderbergers or the bankers got targeted originally. I'm not calling you an anti-Semite. But this is scary stuff and unacceptable stuff from our position. You, uh, you may be into it, and you know, God bless you. Go ahead and you know, do what you want. A lot, a lot of what I, what I hear and what I read um, goes back to Zionism. And when I see that word, you know, it's always a red flag because I don't. You know, I don't want anything to do with that. And none of the people that I well, know you might want to reconsider things like Bilderbergers. Well, the thing is, I mean, I really mean that. Well, a lot of people are concerned that you know the problems in the Middle East. Our government, we some people think, are is too in bed with. The, the government of Israel. Look, saying, saying that U.S. policy with Israel is incorrect, or you're, 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 you believe in Palestinian rights, is different than alleging a Bilderberger conspiracy that's rooted in anti-Semitism that's destroying the economy. Those are completely separate things. One is a kooked out conspiracy theory, and the other is a legitimate criticism of foreign policy. Right. I mean, I'm worried that you seem to be mixing these things together. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. it's one well, thing to be pissed off about the star money. Right. That's cool. Goldman Sachs is getting all their big, you know, bonuses. I get that. But then tell me about the Bilderbergers. You're completely destroying the credibility of your arguments there by injecting crazed anti-Semitic conspiracy theory into it. Look, Renee, I'm telling. I, look, this is a very simple thing. I told you what I don't care about that you're up to. I've told you why you're on the list, why it's important to us. Sure. You know, it's, it's, you know, and I've told you why we have this list and why it's important, because it's related to domestic terrorism. And that's not a joke. People die because of this stuff. This listing here does not imply that the groups themselves advocate or engage in violence or criminal activities or are racist. Anti extreme anti-government conspiracy mongering has led to a lot of domestic terrorism and violence. People go crazy when they believe in conspiracy theories and do very, very bad things. And it happens all the time. So this is what I have to say to you. If We Are Change doesn't want to be on the Patriot list and you think these conspiracy theories are bad, get rid of them and you'll be off the list. Who shot the three cops in his front yard? <coughs> Richard Poplowski in Pittsburgh, what? April of 09. Do you know where he got the idea of hating the government from? Alex Jones. Alex Jones didn't make him do that. That's like saying video games make your kids violent. It's a scary thing. You have a legitimate political position you're trying to push. Yes. This is killing you. It makes you look like a joke. Yeah. Anyhow. Hey guys. Okay, so we did the interview. 
and we've had time to think about uh, what was said. Um, I listened to the interview and one of the things I noticed was she did a lot of double talk and a lot of backtracking. You know, she said in one, in one breath that, you know, the Patriot groups are not violent, yet in the next breath she said that, you know, the Patriot groups uh, are what, encouraging people to kill people, you know, especially people who listen to Alex Jones. Um, so, you know, I'm not falling for it. I think that uh, she has an agenda. The SPLC has an agenda. I don't know what it is. Um, she told me I was a joke um, and said that I was silly for talking about the New World Order. Well, let me tell you something. The idea of a small but powerful group of people wanting to rule the world is as old as civilization itself. It's not a new idea. So maybe the New World Order isn't as new as we think it is. St. Francis of Assisi said, love one another constantly. And John Lennon said, all you need is love. So stay strong, always question authority, and keep up the good work. Peace.